हरे कृष्णा सी मेमोरी नॉट एज अ गाइड टू द पास्ट बट एज अ गाइड फ्रॉम द पास्ट टू द फ्यूचर वेन वी ऑल लुक एट आर मेमोरी वेन वी लुक ऑफन वी थिंक ऑफ मेमोरी एज समथिंग विच हेल्प अस टू रिमेंबर द पास्ट वेल दैट इज ट्रू द पास्ट इज टू बिग टू बी एक्यूरेटली रिमेंबर्ड in fact many people just live in the past and lose themselves in the past because oh why did this happen why did that happen oh it had that person did like that why did i do like that and that way we just get totally we can get totally lost so if we think of the memory as a tool uh, as a tool to discover the past then we can waste a uh, tool to uh, then we can waste our entire life trying to unearth the past but what we want is that we want to learn something from the past so that it can be a guide for us in the future if something bad happened to us now what could we have done to avoid that if something good work out in our lives what did we do right how can we do that right again so that kind of learning from the past is what is required so if we think of memory as a guide to the past that means we will be caught forever in the accuracy in whether the memory is accurate and there are so many memories the way the same event the way i remember it and the way you remember it can be very different and the way, way i remember the event now and the way i remember the event 10 years later can be very different so memory is remarkably unreliable if we treat it as a infallible guide to know the factuality of the past now of course we don't need to know uh, the facts we don't want our memory simply to be entirely imagination but the point is rather than trying to do unending post mortems of the past we look at the past sufficiently to learn what we can for the pre- for guiding us in the present and especially in the future as the present moves into the future the bhagavad gita talks about how living in the past is self destructive when it labels that such action such such thought patterns are perverse determination in the mode of ignorance in 1835 it is said yaya sapnam bhayam shokam vishadam madame vacha navi munchati durmedha druti sa partha tamasi so vishadam madam oh vishadam sapnam bhayam shokam so lamenting moroseness all this is based on all the bad things that have happened to us in the past and letting them endlessly replay within us so stop that so we look at the past when we are in a sufficiently calm and reflective frame of mind and look at the past so that we can learn something from the past and then we move forward in our life and that's how the past can become not a black hole into which we get consumed but the past can become a resource that we draw on to create a better future for ourselves thank you hare krishna